Hi, this is Freya with another edition of How to Sing That Song, and today I'm gonna bring you another song that is from a movie from Titanic, Celine Dion's "My Heart Will Go On." Well, I love this song just because it is so emotional, and whenever I watch the movie, I mean that is the scene where. I just have to cry. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but uh, it is so emotional and it is so beautiful. The important thing here with this song is that you are going to use a wide range of voice colors. What Celine does in the beginning, she is very breathy and light. There's not a lot of vocal cord closure. They're very relaxed, the vocal cords. And so we have this really breathy sound. And always keep in mind, you're going to have a mic whenever you perform this or record this. So you're going to be very close to the mic to where you don't need a lot of volume. You could just be very soft. Oh, I'm doing it in E major, by the way. What do you want to do? You want to be very breathy, but that does not mean you don't need support. On the contrary, you need even more support because you want to be breathy, but you don't want to lose the air too quickly, which means you're still going to have to really, really tightly control uh, from your core that the air doesn't escape just so. And it would escape because the vocal cords are very far apart and there is a lot of air that could stream through there. Holding it in though with your support will actually prevent you from running out of breath too quickly. And now the last pitch here. That is all you know you go on. Try to practice that. It's really hard to breathe so breathy and to have this very straight tone. Don't put too much vibrato on. Go on too soon. Go on. Far across the distance. It's almost like, it is almost like a loud whisper. Have you ever tried to whisper and then, but something is extremely important, it's like, now I'm whispering, very normal, and just very, I want to be soft. But now, it's like, no, quiet, no, 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 no. You want to be quiet, but you want to scream at the same time. That's kind of how it feels. You want to be breathy, but with tons of energy and strength behind that all. Show you, go on. Then she goes, Deep breath every time, just because you do need a lot of breath here. Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. Once more. so on and so on you see it is a lot of work and if you did this forever you would become lightheaded and you everything would start spinning but it is fine just to do it for that first chorus and then when you go to this Once more, you open the door. a little bit less breathiness it's kind of like just always increase a little bit Increase the energy just a little bit to build, to build momentum, to rise up and later on, you know, after the bridge really explode, kind of. So after that second verse, kind of, my heart will go on once more.
becomes the flute. Now the next verse. Love can touch just one time and last for a lifetime and never let go till we're on. So what you want to do here, you want to stay in this light color, but you don't want to go, love can touch us one time. But you also don't want to go, love can touch us one time. A little bit more work into it. Love can touch us one time. Stay very open back here to have this very nice silvery ring in your tone. And last for a lifetime. So you can have put a little bit more ping into that pitch there every once in a while. And never let go till we're Opening my throat, not keeping it very narrow, but opening up. Love was when I loved you, one true time I hold to. In my life will always go on. Very nice. And it's a low note there at the end, so don't put too much pressure on there otherwise it's hard to keep the intonation very 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 exact and now comes the middle part Near, far. now you may go into chest voice but don't blast it out 100% yet wherever you are I believe that the heart does go that high what is it it's a it's a it's a b so um it's not that terribly high but you don't want to blast it up 100 because that comes afterward and you're here in my heart will go on and on What you want to do, you want to kind of really be straight. Don't go, no, I can't even do it like that. There's nothing to fear. Really have emotion in it. You can bend the note. You can bend the pitch and pull it up a little and pull it down again. It's much easier than there's no. To like don't attack it. Don't go like there's nothing to fear. It's gonna sound yelled, and you don't want to yell. You want to very well support it, but at the same time. Forever this way And you're safe in my heart And my heart will go on and on You can just get back into this very silvery voice color I'm really tired guys I have been singing so much lately in the past few days um, So I'm really vocally tired But you want to connect it. You don't want to suddenly burst out and you also don't want to suddenly go back into this more relaxed and silvery color. Uh. Forever this way you are safe in my heart and my heart will go on and on. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about humming. Whenever you hum, and that happens in some songs, that there is a hummed part, make sure you keep your throat open. Also inside of your mouth, you don't want to be having your tongue flat against your hard palate. You want to keep a space as if you were saying, uh, 
you want to keep that space in there. Otherwise, it's going to sound very nasal. And it's nasal and very closed up. Here, oh, I'm keeping this all oh, position. But I'm just closing my lips. So, um... There's one piece, it's called Bacchianas Brasileiras by Villa Lobos, um, a classical composer, um, South American. There's a wonderful piece that Bacchianas Brasileiras, I think number five it is, and it's a soprano piece, it's beautiful, it's with a cello orchestra, it's all cello, cello, cello. <laughs> and at the end it has this vocalese and it's, or at the beginning, it's like, it, it just is on, hmm. And it's an A. Very hard. So that's totally difficult. But the principle is you got to keep your throat open as much as you can so there's still some resonating space and it's gonna, not going to sound like somebody is just squeezing you off. That doesn't work. You see how I have like this huge space inside of my mouth. Just to try to get this. Otherwise, I can't because it's too narrow and I can't even produce the pitch anymore because there's no space to, to, to go anywhere. Well, guys, I hope you're going to try this song. Hopefully, when you're not that vocally tired and fatigued as I am today. My cat has been very sick and I think I'm, I'm going to have to put him to sleep. And that's, um, yeah, kind of sad. That's just craziness. So that's just a little side note. Thanks for watching today and uh, yeah, don't forget to tune back in next, well, this Thursday and Friday. And also, I still have a few openings for my master classes that are starting in January. There's quite a few spots filled already, so I may do several because there's a lot of people asking me. And depending on who um, wants to apply, I'm going to form some groups that are maybe for the more serious singers that are wanting to go more the professional route and I'm going to help more with the business side too and about like really presenting yourself stage and all that and I want to form another group that is more about people who maybe don't want to do it professionally but are just very ambitious hobbyists so don't be afraid to apply any level um, if there's enough people I will form a group for that level that people fit together Just go to my website, FreyaSingingTips.com, and you'll find out more information about the whole thing. It's a three-month program, and it's intensive, and it's not something you just download. It's We will really meet in person every week with a group, and you'll be put on the spot. You will really learn to stretch yourself, stretch your goals, and really get to the next level. Well, thanks. Until next time, always keep on singing, and always keep a song in your heart. Bye.